Go, episode number 214. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is... Perkutat. Hey guys! I managed to get back on again. Yay! That is cool. That is again. Cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, again. <laughs> but this is your third time this week? Yeah, it is actually. Wow. We just put a limit on her all of a sudden. <laughs> Cap me, like, no more! <laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh, also joining us today is... Infinite Attraction. Affection. Affection, yes. <laughs> Same thing, really. It's nice to be back on this. <laughs> nice to be back, Norman, even though you've re- forgotten my name. <laughs> no, no, no. See, I, I know your real name, so it's fumbling me about because, like, oh, damn it, what, what is your OC name? Like, oh, God, oh, let me... Oh, okay. <laughs> now open Skype. All right, that, that's done. <laughs> if only MLP could be easier. Oh, yeah. I mean, a show for little girls being hard. Oh, no. Oh, my. I'm a little girl and I'm proud. <laughs> and also joining us is Nightflame. Hi guys. How are you doing? Uh, not too bad. I'm having a little fun just wondering what to say in this. Uh, First thing for everything. Yeah. It's just be careful what you say, Michael. Yeah, I know, Urban. Thanks. So, like, since you're new to the show, there's a tradition that we always do, and that's asking you for questions. And those questions are, who's your favorite character? Derpy, all the way. Oh, really now? Why Derpy? Oh, really, yes. Because Derpy is awesome. Derpy has love, Derpy has life. <laughs> you can relate to the Derps. Well, then you will enjoy today's episode then. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Let Derps assume! Yeah. Don't tell me, I haven't seen it yet. Derp or derp? Derp, 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 derp. Derp or derp, derp, derp. Derp. Spoilers aside, <laughs> and Derpy out of the way. Um, favorite episode? Favorite episode, I think, would be, oh god, that's a toughie. Um, for me, it's the License Zero one. Oh, really? No. <laughs> oh, the expressions of that one were amazing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice. Yeah. I can't get enough of it every time, I just love watching it. It's <laughs> my favorite episode too, really, because of the thing that Fluttershy did. <laughs> the thought oh. escapes you that this is a show for kids, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, right. Not in that episode, it wasn't. <laughs> I like the fact that Big Back liked uh, the little doll even after the spell was broken. And she's like, yay, Big Back! Oh, funny thing is, oh. you can find a doll in his room, I think. What is it? In... Yeah, when Gabby comes into view, <laughs> yeah. like it did all the stories. We're like, yes, he still has the doll! I think one of the best, I think one of the best parts in that episode was when Twilight came out of the bushes with the bird nest. No, yeah, I was <laughs> say what? <laughs> Bizarre. <laughs> this is that reaction. <laughs> that episode is very memorable. How did you become a fan of the show? It was from a game called The Luna Game. Huh. As bizarre as that sounds. Alright. It's a game that's based on Luna and Nightmare Moon. I think it's supposed to be a dream sequence or something like that. And it is very violent. <laughs> So it is a bizarre way of starting a fandom, to be honest. <laughs> hey, at least you didn't get worn down by a munchkin. Oh, yeah, no, that's a good point, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but still, but still. Getting to be a fan of the show via the games or fanmade anyway, games is not strange. What made you want to play in the first place? I didn't actually play it. I used to uh, kind of watch like reviews and things and all that kind of. In fact, I still do to an extent. And when I watched the review on that, it was just like people with the jump scares just screaming at the screen because a kind of zalgified flutter shy or something came up. Wait, what? Like zalgified <laughs> a jump scare? Hmm? My little pony fan mate game. Really now? Oh, yeah. Shy. Did she just go? Yay. <laughs> There was loud screams and things like that involved as well. It wasn't just like pictures. It wasn't cutesy pictures. So there was the also um, just be a flutter shy, just go. Oh. It wasn't even that. It was like they blackened out the eyes of flutter oh, shy. They made it like one. violence and those kind. Yeah, those yeah, kind. I, I remember <laughs> those screenshots. Yeah, I, I remember them. But uh, what do your family and friends think about your love for such show? They mock me for it, but they don't mind. <laughs> I mean, I was kind of sceptical at first trying to come out and say that I was actually a brony, but then I, think I just decided why not just do it. I felt more comfortable as time progressed. I told my mom, my dad, my brothers, my sister, and as my brother doesn't like talking about it, I just ignore it for that. <laughs> 
but um, they don't mind. Ah, that's cool. That's, that's, that's a pretty good thing, and also surprising, because I thought I was going to get disowned or something. You know, if some people disowned. I mean, Harsh. I have, yeah. I can yeah. think of worse things to get disowned for. Ponies are harmless. Mm-hmm. It's not that, like, sure. I think of all the other things you can do. Yeah, it's not like you like anime or something. Dun, dun, dun. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's not as terrible as anime. Do you want to pick a fight on your screen? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, oh. I love anime. Oh gosh. <laughs> but I am a bleach fan. Oh, no. I like bleach. What about Twilight? No! The we do movie? not speak of that infinite. The character is fine, the movie is not. I must be the only fan of Twilight. You're, it's alright, you're young, you'll get, you, you know, you'll come round. Oh, wow. Well. But anyway, what do your friends think? Um, my friends, sometimes they can be a little bit skeptical, but most of my friends are actually bronies, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> alright, you then. Or did they convert you? Um, to be honest, I can't remember who converted me. I think it was more just the idea that converted me. The fact that it was something different and new that I never actually done or tried before, so, yeah. No, to be honest, if anybody converted me, it's more than likely it would have been Diane Rendell. Oh, yes. Sugar Dove, a.k.a. Kingpin. Yes. She rules us all! <laughs> the dictator. <laughs> nah, she's lovely. She is our yeah. supreme overlord. I, for one, welcome the overlord. <laughs> Please say that the dictator part of it, because I don't want her hearing me say that. You can't have a woman as an overlord. <laughs> she is our overlord, don't you doubt it! <laughs> she will rule you too, it's with a battle axe in each hand. Oh, wow. But anyway, joining us is Will. Hey, how's it going? Hey. It's going great. <laughs> it's going really great, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a bit late. A bit, but not much. How are you doing? Oh, you know, just realizing that, oh yeah, it's Saturday. That's the, the day Norman does, that's the day, the day Norman does his podcast. It's also that's the it. day that Will, it's also the day Will decides, hey, you know what's great? This bed. Let's not leave it. <laughs> ah, bed. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry, man. Like, it's, uh, I know the feeling of I want to sleep extra five more hours, so yeah. Yeah, try try an extra six more hours just because hey, it's a weekend. I got nothing going on, but then I'm like, oh no, he's doing the podcast. We got to be a part of that. That's the coolest thing on this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Except for D and D's. Yeah, that too. <laughs> uh, but anywho, as you can see, show notes are there, and we're going straight to news because we don't have a guest. And, well, I'm not sure if you guys are into wrestling, mostly WWE wrestling, but hey, I do like it. I do find the show pretty fun. And I don't know why, but it seems that wrestlers or the company nowadays is trying to go for the brony market. And a wrestler by the name of Dolph Ziggler is going brony, I think, or he is just going for the angle where he's just painting or dyeing his hair to be rainbow. I don't know. Wait a minute, going for the market? I thought they did actually have the market already. Well, it depends. Yeah. Like, the show, the audience, they're there. The brony fandom is everywhere, technically. Yeah, yeah it's invading the world. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just trying to cash in on a on a fad, probably. But yeah, if the guy likes the show and he's you know just celebrating his other show, whatever. I mean... For crying out loud, didn't, didn't you see that wrestling thing that happened not too long ago where a bunch of guys burst out in, in uh, Vegeta <laughs> Super Saiyan armor out of a box of cereal? Oh, I mean, come on, let's face, it, let's face it. Today's wrestlers, today's wrestlers are nothing but a bunch of nerds. Oh yeah. Nerds! <laughs> yeah, and we're perfectly fine with that. We're yeah. perfectly fine with that. I mean, <laughs> and the wrestlers you're talking about are the new days, the kind of really cool hip. Uh, tag team trio, which is pretty cool. You're a cool hip wrestler? Is that a fact? <laughs> kind of, because back in the days, you won't see anything like this. And Bronies, as we mentioned previously in some previous episodes, that if a celebrity becomes a brony or says that they're brony, people latch on to them like they're... Uh, what was it again, Will? I, I forgot. They lash on to them like a mosquito does onto a fat person with a very short arm reach. <laughs> yeah, that too. But still, uh, it was something that uh, Josh Scorch had mentioned before about how... Well, I forgot the thing. Like, Go listen to last week's episode to hear what he said. But this, I don't know. I mean, to me, this is just fun. Crazy silly fun. 
Yeah, just pro- probably something they're just doing for notes, but you know what? Who cares? We'll have fun with it anyway. Yeah. Wait a minute. Fun? What's fun? I don't know what fun is. I'm in the wrong chat here. <laughs> Well, obviously, we're gonna have to send you into the. We're gonna have to send you into the miracle <laughs> pinky. Then you'll know the true meaning. Like, of listen to the SpongeBob oh. song, fun. Then you will know, Michael. <laughs> yes. But, <laughs> uh, but um, Infinite, what about you, man? What's your opinion on the news? I don't really like wrestling myself. It's like it's a it's a fake sport. So why would you put oh. a sport which no, is no, fake? No, here's so, the thing: wrestling is real, but. This one, sports entertainment, that's for entertainment. It's all scripted. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, so wrestling, it's fake. Uh, professional wrestling is not a sport. What it is, and I've heard a very big uh, wrestling fan say this is wrestling, professional wrestling, is modern day soaps uh, for men. Yes, yep. it's, basic, <laughs> it's basically it's it's basically like a soap that. opera for men <laughs> yeah. with backstabbing, intrigue. Uh, political sides to it, mm. and with a heavy dose of violence. Yeah. Well, at least they admit it, instead of going, no, it's totally real, this argument's are totally real. Like, no, it's scripted. It's totally scripted, dude. Stop pretending it's legit. Yeah. But the thing is, the hitting and whatnot, those are real. The bumps are Oh, taking, that's yeah. real. The drama's not, not but the hitting is real. It's not always. It depends. Like, all the hitting is real, but they control it. Mm. They have practice behind, well, they have practice doing, okay, this is how I'm going to hit you, so let's practice on how I hit you. And then when it comes to game day, they flub and hit accidentally really hard. They're, they're actors, all right? They're, they're good at projecting an illusion of a real fight. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. speaking of illusion, our next topic actually talks about a great and powerful illusionist, doesn't it? Yeah. The best one ever. Yeah. You better believe I got tricks up my sleeve. Yeah. See? So Pisto is having a field day with this one. And well, here's the thing. Um, if you seen last week's episode um, about the Trixie one, Trixie somehow had a poster and some crazy fan decided to tweet someone that says that the poster is very impressive. And someone replied that clearly she was using a at Canon USA Pixma, like a Canon product, like directly to Canon. And, well, Canon replied. <laughs> when you're great and powerful, you need a great and powerful printer. And you need to be a great and powerful kisser. Um, Wait, so um, she basically uses a Dell printer then, huh? <laughs> no, Canon, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 now, having worked at a retail store, I can emphatically say that there are different printers for different types of things, and Dell... It's okay if you want to do multiple black and white copies. If you want color, go to Canon. But Canon's ink is expensive as heck. No, that's true. That's true. Depends if you use laser or inkjet, though. Well, Still yeah, expensive. but the good thing is, though, you'll never get a customer who wants to do, uh, uh, who wants to do, uh, toner. They never want to do toner. It's too expensive. Yeah, well, it's going to be a clear image. Well, I'm going to do inkjet. Fine. And have fun when your entire printer explodes all over you. <laughs> oh. Hashtag is so real. But still, but still. Uh, but yeah, so Canon decided the can- person running the Canon uh, Twitter um, was pretty on the ball there. Yeah. In fact, really, that's all Twitter feeds are. Is Twitter feeds are nothing more than PR, mm-hmm. and uh, b- b- by by someone actually being on top of this, that we get something a little funny. It's why you see really good, like really good PR Twitters are like the Sonic the Hedgehog yeah. one, or the one run by Ke- Kellogg's, or you know, just there are some that are just on the spot good with their uh, with their responses. Yeah, the Sonic one I enjoy highly because <laughs> it's, he's just crazy. Oh, he, he he has mastered the art the actual art of trolling. Not not the not the not the not the what people call trolling is bullying, but I mean actual trolling making someone look like a fool by their own power. Yeah and also most of the time it's himself. Yeah. It's it's pretty good. But unfortunately, our next piece of news isn't so good. Yeah, well, it's kind of because this season for season six, we're gonna get a mid-season hiatus, like we did for last season, and the hiatus starts on June 11th. So yeah, we're gonna have what probably a three-month break, probably, give or take. Yeah, so we're so we're gonna have three one. Months. If we count today, we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Five days of pony, or or four if if they don't count the eleventh itself. It's gonna be a while. Most reviewers are going to enjoy this because hey, we got a break 
so let's yeah. push content and for friends that are not doing any content they're gonna be like oh what do we do now i heard steven universe is out for content creators hiatuses are great because it gives them time to catch up but also it gives them time to work on other projects because you know with with a decrease in amount of official pony stuff the amount of fan pony stuff becomes what everyone goes towards so it's hiatus time that everyone loves to go for the fan stuff. Yeah, I think it's great. You need a break now and again. It's better than doing a whole season and then having to wait a year and a bit for the next season. Oh, yeah. So it breaks up a bit and there's not as much waiting for the next season. Mm-hmm. True mm-hmm. That. I would think so. It's good. It spreads it out and everyone gets to catch up. Everyone's happy. Well, there was so someone kind of, that's not happy, but they could just be quiet. Me. I kind of wonder if they're <laughs> going to fill the if they're going to fill the hiatus with another Equestria Girls movie. Yes. Oh God, I think the have overdone done it. That's what they, that's what they tend to do. Whenever we have a hiatus, there's always an Equestria Girls movie in there. I wouldn't complain. I like Equestria Girls. Sunset then. Shimmer, Queen of White. <laughs> that is also true. The fourth one was good. The first two, not as much. Here, I, I loved Rainbow Rocks. The songs were awesome. Yeah, I know it was all right, like I said, but it wasn't that great for me. I want to know more about the sirens and Star Swirl, the convenience, but no. Oh, go read the comics, and you're gonna be really disappointed. <laughs> No, don't disappoint me, Norman. I want to know more about Star Swirl the Bearded. Well, the more you learn about him, the less you want to. Aww. Uh, that's a fan. Th- that was a fan theory that was disproven. But the more you learn about Star Swirl the Bearded, the more you realize why did everyone look up to this guy? <laughs> that is also Wait, crazy. Is it... the ultimate uh, derp with a beard. He, he, he basically decided to solve every problem by not my issue. I'm out of here. <laughs> Put it to another dimension. Like that. Okay, okay. I'm... Not only did it do that, it's like, hmm, this tree is evil. I know, let me put a sign on it and I accidentally release the evil from within it. Or, you know what? I made friends with a guy here. You know what? What, his brother's a jerk. So, you know what? L- l- let me just leave his brother alone. I'm sure he won't cause any pro- oh. Like, I'm sure oh, he'll yeah. be fun. Fa- oh. Well, Will, you're on the ball with this one. <laughs> Can I just ask you a quick question? Uh, yeah, yeah go ahead. The beauty. Okay. I see actually Ian McKellen. <laughs> We all wish he is. <laughs> that would we, be we, cool. <laughs> I, I, although, personally, I would love it. Love it if he was actually voiced by Patrick Stewart. Oh, that would be amazing. Oh, uh, yeah, that's another good one. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> no, because then you get the two of them together, and then you get him and, and Dis- him and Discord together in the same room. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, Squirrely Boo, what are you talking I would have preferred Christopher Lee if he was still alive. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is bad yeah. Christopher Lee would have been actually perfect. Yeah. Oh, why do you have to remind me of it? Time is something precious. Personally, for me, I would like to see Christopher Walken voice him. Oh, that would be <laughs> hilarious. It would make so much sense. Time. Uh, time is part of the world. And it's, <laughs> it's very disjointed twilight. I gotta say, I don't really know what's going on half the time because time itself is part of me. And I'm here and there and in the past and the present. And who are you? <laughs> that would be something, right? That would be something. What's this? Yeah, okay, sorry, just got out of, I just saw Jug- Jungle Book last night. Oh, so well, I, I need to watch King that Louis one. <laughs> King Louis as Christopher Walken <laughs> steals the show. That sounds like such an odd choice for, for oh, King Louis. You, you do know he also sings. Whoa! <gasps> really? Christopher, Christopher oh! Walken sings. I need to I watch it. I need to watch it. Yeah, is he sings, I want to be like you. Oh, God. Oh, I need to see that wait, just for Christopher. Wait, wait, wait. Did I hear that? Uh, Christopher Walken sings that. Mm-hmm. He sings, I want to be like you as King Louis. <laughs> now, oh, I'm the king of the swiggers. Oh, <laughs> Jungle, be happy. Right, I'm getting Amy. Like, Amy, we have to go see Jungle Book. She'll be like, why? Christopher Walken! Uh, <laughs> but about? it also has, actually has great casting choices. Also, Bill Murray as Baloo the Bear. Oh, Bill Murray. Oh, wow. <laughs> actually, here's the creepy part. If you really, really look at Baloo's face, mm. you're like, wow, they didn't just get Bill Murray's voice, they even got Bill Murray's eyebrows in there. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's something I need to watch. Now we're talking about Jungle Book. Yeah, it's cool, I, I want to watch that. I need to watch that with my friends. I need to get them and tell them that we need to watch this just because of Christopher Christian we're walking. But talking... Even if they say no, just drag them over. Yeah, probably. But talking about watching movies... Uh, if you do have the chance to go to the Cannes Film Festival, you'll probably be the first to watch Cannes. Cannes? Is it? 
I'm just Ken. Ken. So can say no. I got no idea what you just said. But Ken. Oh yeah, the French <laughs> Yes. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Ken the festival, you'll be probably the first person to watch the 2017 Malavoni movie. Yay. Where's Ken, by the way? France? Italy? It's in Provence, um, in France. I'm quite near it. <laughs> Go watch. Oh, tell great. Us. So, so, yeah, tell us. Dang it, man. Cause, heck, film it secretly if you can. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody okay, don't do, can't do it. And it's like, yeah, no! don't do that. I, I actually don't do that because that could get you in trouble, and we'd be we'd be supporting piracy, and that would be bad. Our pirates. But well, it is us doing it, so it should be fine. The pirate, they'll never suspect the thing. <laughs> but funny enough that this movie, like the 2017 My Little Pony movie, is in association with Lionsgate, and Lionsgate is one of those. Um, what are they? Freedom Company? They've done a lot of international distribution, um, but they're, they're a distributor. Their history has been, from what I remember, okay, but, uh, I'm not sure how they treat most, uh, kids movies, how they treat distribution on that. I'd actually have to, I'd have to do research, but I, I haven't heard anything bad about them as a distributor. Did they also distribute uh, Pacific Rim? I believe that was actually, they uh, helped produce that one, actually. That was part of Lionsgate Films. Yeah, so that's cool, right? Like, that's awesome. Like, they have... Nope, nope, I was wrong. I was wrong. Uh, how do I... Maybe. Okay. Okay, the Wikipedia is incomplete. Yeah. <laughs> so, as always. Oh, Wikipedia. Wikipedia for the one. Yeah, I, I'm All right, opening... actually, there we are, the theatrically <laughs> list. Because I'm opening up here, and Lionsgate did... The Hunger Games, uh, let's say The Day After Tomorrow. Didn't they do the, uh, the James Bond films as well? They've done all the James Bonds, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, they've, they've yeah. I think they've done most of the modern James Bonds, like, yeah. uh, uh, circa GoldenEye. Mm, I right, think. yeah. So, yeah. it depends on how much money the, well, how much money Hasbro is willing to push for this. If Hasbro is willing to push a lot of cash for this, then we'll get to see it be promoted and whatnot, and we'll get, you know, awesome movie okay. reviews Well, and keep in mind, you know, it's still it's still a kid's movie, and uh, let's face it, we're, we're not at the hyper hype that we were back in 2012, mm -hmm. all right? It, it, Phantom has mellowed out a little, but, you know, there's still plenty of people here, but I think they'll probably do a moderate theater. Uh, they, they might only have it in theaters for probably three weeks at max, is my guess. I think it would be much better depending on how well it how well the Brony reviews uh, review it because the first Equestrial Girls they sold out like all theaters full jam packed like well of course they also they only had it for like two days man I mean I remember going to that it was like it's only going to be at this theater it's not really being advertised it's going to be there for two days and it's one of three locations showing in your entire state of course they're going to sell out yeah but even then the reviews weren't exactly that great for it mm, it's not that great but yeah. it's not that bad so it was kind of middle of the ground it could have been so oh, yeah, yeah, it could have been worse for this character. Yeah, it's yeah, like it have made a much worse film. But <laughs> still, this one with the kind of info that we got, the movie is going to be kind of awesome, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of everything kind of. is awesome. <laughs> everything is cool when you're part of it. Yeah. Oh god, that too. A generic song. <laughs> yeah, but it seems that well, Megan and Daniel Ingram, uh, Megan McCartney, that is, and Daniel Ingram, they are really hyped for this movie. They're promoting it secretly. So, yeah. I'm expecting good things. Secretly, but not so secretly. That yeah, yeah. yeah, secretly enough that everybody knows about it. Yep, yep. <laughs> I, think, oh, I think hype must be the most popular H word in this century. Yep. Uh, next, <laughs> All aboard the hype train. Yeah. <laughs> next to combo breaker. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an H word. No, I mean, like, uh, the most used word is hype, and then next to it is combo breaker. Never heard of that. Yeah. You get hype combo, combo breaker? I don't know, I think lately with a couple of years, I think it'd be triggered right now. It's a very popular <laughs> one. Oh, yes, that is also true. I don't know why, but I've just got this picture of Michael Bay all of a sudden doing the whole MLP thing and doing it like Transformers. Explosions everywhere. <laughs> you did mention that, oh my god, Michael Bay directing the My Little Pony fan, uh, no, the My Little Pony movie. Would be really interesting. Just think about it. What are Michael Bay's gimmick? <laughs> he has the explosions. He has a 
fetish with the U.S. military. Mm -hmm. He also loves the American flag (laughs) to the point of where why don't you just wear it as nothing else like a toga. (laughs) And he also has an extreme lack of foresight when it comes to writing itself. It's more like, is there enough chance to blow things up and cause a cool action sequence? Because he can do action sequences like nobody's business, but Michael Bay's movies have been a financial success. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that Even the true. bad ones. That is true. If Michael Bay were to do it, I would go watch it because it's fun. It's like a train wreck waiting to happen and you're up there up front uh, eating popcorns. I think he's better when he just does original stuff. Mm, well, yes. you know, like pain you know, game. When he's not just when he was not using uh, a pre-existing stuff because people are expecting him to. Yeah, I'm, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for them in one of the Transformers movies to use the original Transform sound effect, or maybe oh. not the original, but more like an upgraded version of it. If they just did that once, I'd be like, okay. My Little Pony did it once, so why not them, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pinkie Pie. Transform and roll out. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, that, that's the news for this week. And we go to the next topic, which is email time. Yes. We get emails? Yeah, we do have emails. So if you guys would like to send us emails, you can send it to the MBS show at gmail.com. We'll read it on the show, like this one. So who's going to read this one? Like, um, who has the sultry voice of very nice voice person? I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> that word has a nice voice to recite something. Christopher yeah, Lee does. <laughs> Ivory Smash. You know, Ivory, you've barely said a dang word in this whole thing, so yeah. you should read the letter. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Gandalf to the Gandalf. <laughs> sure, sure. Zoroman. <laughs> okay, uh, so, dear Norman, thanks for each episode of the MBS show that comes out. Hearing who you get on is making my mornings with my mom on our Saturday paper route more fun every time. It's been a wild ride. Suggestions? In all honesty, I think you should try to keep Lurker Cat on. I think she'll be a little boost for your podcast. Hey, maybe she would be happy to become a new co-host since uh, Rolicious and Cow kind of abandoned you. Um, plus, my mom seems to enjoy her a bit. Will... <laughs> <laughs> oh no, is it? <laughs> oh, okay. Will Will Ryzen is a nice guy too. Until the others come back soon, keep them in your dank dark dungeon until they do. <laughs> I do feel bad for you since they left you alone. I'm sorry to hear that you are on your own, but if you need help finding a guest, I can give you a helping hoof to get you through the tough times. Big pony hugs from Canada, CRC Brony. Yes, why malicious? Why? <laughs> well, uh, I think Lurker Cat and Will are here. What do you have to say, guys? Oh, so much blushing. Thank you very much for saying that. Oh. I love it if there was a comma there. It would totally change the meaning. <laughs> Will Ryzen is a nice guy, too, until the others come back. <laughs> I'm a little Okay, bit I'm replaceable. I'm out of here. That's it. That's all I'm used oh. for. We're going to get until kids in a dungeon. Well, I'm scared. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused. Do you have a dungeon? Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> it's all Lurker's uh, idea, actually. It's a oh. deep, dark, dank, sexy dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm let's... Uh... <laughs> no. I thought we were avoiding that. Oh, yeah, we topic, are, but... but okay. We slid right down this. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm saying it's a sexy dungeon because it has beautiful uh, drapery on it. It has Yay! nice drapes. Yeah. You get windows? No, man. Yeah. No, oh, this is race. Not. I don't mind that. No, the windows are there, but it's all painted black. Aww. Uh, so basically, you can't have a dungeon with lovely drapes, pretty much. <laughs> you don't really have to worry much about it. It's a level one dungeon, so it's nothing but kobolds and low level goblins. <laughs> Giant rats. Rodents of unusual size. I don't think they quite exist. <laughs> I see what you just are. Uh, I need to watch that film again. But thank you, CRC. Like, don't worry about me, man. Like, I've done this for almost how many years now? I got no idea. Four. Four? Wow. <laughs> what have I been doing in my life? I've done this for a long time. Amazing things. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Big the, the, the podcasting machine that is Norman Sansom. Oh, yeah. But still, um, don't worry about the guests. I'll try and get them. And Will and Lurka, wow, people seem to enjoy you. Yay. Keep up the good work. Yay. I've not sacrificed the internet yet. <laughs> Soon, though. Soon. Yeah, just so people See, know, man. I'm not exactly a guest. I'm more a hostage in this situation. Oh, yeah. Like always. <laughs> it's work. Yeah. 
<laughs> they're good cats. They set up the traps and they're done. It's hard. <laughs> See, it totally they... works. It's totally legit. Mm-hmm. And yeah, um... look at the bright side. At least with hostage, at least being a hostage, you you at least are fed daily. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Help then... me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for reading the emails. That was awesome of you, man. Anyway, uh, we reached the end. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at amyshowgmail.com. Like you heard, we read emails on the show. That would be fun. Hey! Also, you can reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show. Silly Bird will retweet this episode and stuff. I don't know what she really does. And if you want to talk to her, just tweet at her. She'll talk to you back because she's done that before, I think. I'm not really sure what she does on a daily basis. But if you want to know what I do, you can reach me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. And mostly I like to Instagram my Twitter thingy. So food there. And Durka here seen some of my food pictures and she's really jelly. You torture me with your food, Norman. Why do you do this? Because I can. Ah! <laughs> uh, anyway, Lurk, where can the people find you? You can find me on Debian Art with the same name, lurkercat.debianart.com. All right, so then. And Wills. Oh, if people want to find me, I don't know why. Crazy. <laughs> you can find me on Debian Art at under Will Eisen. That's W I L I Z I N. And you can find me on Film Fiction under W I L underscore I underscore Z I N. And you can find me on Tumblr under Mind Your Own Business. <laughs> no, you can find me under that. <laughs> you can find me on that where I reblog whatever is comedic. Usually crazy D and D stories mm-hmm. under Tumblr W I L I Z I M. And last week's um, cover art for episode number two thirteen was done by you, man. And thank you, that was really awesome. It was super awesome. Yeah, I'll try and do one for each time we get a guest on. So, so this one doesn't get one because we're not special enough. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Hashtag not special. Hashtag. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I got, you're a different kind of special. <laughs> <laughs> Not in a good way. <laughs> but, but the infinite. Uh, where can the people find you? For me? Um, well, um, I have Deviant Art, so same name, Infinite Fiction 24. Um, also Fim Fiction as well, um, just Infinite Fiction. Um, and I've recently set up a YouTube account. It's only got two videos on, so it's probably not worth checking out. But, you know, if you wanted to, go ahead. Never be as good as my YouTube. <laughs> uh, we'll do. Anyway, where can the people find you? Because you mentioned YouTube just now. Yeah, um, my YouTube is Maniacal Gamers, pretty much. Just look for Maniacal Gamers and you should actually come across it. Yeah, or well, click the... So yeah, I'm not really good at giving out the details of names or whatever, so let's... Yeah, it's still a work in progress. Sorry about that. No problem. <laughs> I'll take the show notes to get a link to the Weebutu page because um, people... I find it that when people say, oh, go to thisplace.com, they tend not to because it's, they're too lazy to type it in. So what they do is just click on the links. Yeah, I'll send a link to you and it, where you can actually put it up. So like I said, I'm always still getting used to it, so yeah. Yeah, you need to pimp it out, man. You need to pimp it out. But anyway, uh, and then also please... Pimp it out. Yep, mm. pimp it. Like what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on com. Links are in the show notes. You can click it and click there. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Will. And goodbye <laughs> from the world of tomorrow. Will of tomorrow? Wow. <laughs> How's tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna Today. you're gonna post this tomorrow. So by the time by the time they get this, it will be tomorrow. True <laughs> that. And I've been the lurker. Um, et j'étais en vin. À bientôt. I used to be night flame until I came on this. <laughs> uh, we'll see you guys next week with another amazing episode of the NBS show. Will you wanna take us out? Yeah, sure. Where do you want to go? Like Pizza Hut or something? No, or something? man. <laughs> no, man. No, no, no space, man. Let's go to White Castle. Yeah. Nando's. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, sure. If you want to head to the bathroom right afterwards. <laughs> uh, okay, Why can we not just have a Chinese meal? <laughs> oh, Panda <Yeah>. Express then. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, bye-bye. Bye. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, guys.